good morning good evening and good afternoon from wherever you are dialing from thank you for listening in and being part of this awesome community mark freya and i are here to talk about the microsoft graph api for sharepoint pages we are very excited to note that uh, just within the past month we have ga the first ever b1.0 version of the pages api in graph uh, this opens up a lot of opportunities for our community and our developers and customers in how they can automate and create wonderful pages using pro, uh, using programmatic access and uh, the kind of automation is very exciting for us a lot of the feedback coming in has also been very encouraging the current v1.0 api allows for creating and editing pages and news posts we support 14 microsoft provided web parts and any third party web part to be part of the payload when you are creating or editing a page more web part support is coming soon uh, obviously read only actions are unlimited access to all the web parts in the page and we also introduced validation of payload and client side errors improvements to help with the developer experience with that preamble Here's a introduction to the demo time. So I have Mark, who's going to go on first to cover a few scenarios, which is already available now in GA for all of you to try out. And right after that, Shreya is going to come online and do a demo of something that's been a top ask, and it's coming to beta very soon. So with that, may I ask Mark? Mark Wu, please take over the screen and do your demos. Oh yes, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, let me share my screen. Yeah, I'm Mark, and I'm the engineer of Pages API. Uh, let me bring you um, some uh, basic scenario for uh, the Pages API. Um, first, uh, you uh, let's see a demo page here. Actually, I'll tell you that this demo page can be created uh, with Pages API, and just uh, we can get some payload here. It this is how the page looks like. Oh, it does not contain the web part data, so we can add some query parameter to ma make it. Show in the output. Yes, here we get this payload, so we can copy this payload and create a new page with this payload. Let me edit it in VS Code. We may need to remove some metadata to make it work, and this. It's a trimmed version of this. Let's copy that. Change the method to post. Paste it here. Uh, maybe change the name. For example, one more one. Pages API demo one one one. So let's post this request. You can see a two o one as the return code, and we will find this new page. Here's the link. Copy, paste. Okay, pages API demo one 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 with the two web parts. They are first party web parts. You can also do some modification. Use the uh, patch API. Let me get the new page first. ID is result. 
graph. It's patch. So we can use patch to modify something. For example, the canvas layout, we can remove the YouTube web part here. Can remove the entire YouTube web part and click patch. No, succeeded and the web part has gone. Uh, we also add some uh, check to prevent some errors. For example, uh, the alignment for the button is left now, but I want to uh, input some invalid uh, value like, oh, I forgot the T here, left, and uh, I run the query. Okay, there's an error, bad request, and uh, the result, the message is that there's something wrong with the alignment. Oh, I forgot T here, and I can also, I may also want to add this unsupported web part. Actually, it is a countdown timer for the uh, first anniversary of the Pages API, but the countdown tam timer is not currently supported. So if I use it as a payload, There's also a bad request indicating that the web part is not supported. And that's a scenario for our first party web part. And please remember that we only uh, support 14 first party web part yet, but we will add more. But we can also support uh, third party web parts. Let me play a video from my recorded by my colleague uh, Ya Do and to and demonstrate these scenarios for the third party web part. Please watch the video. Hello everyone. In this video I want to show you how to add the third party web part to a page. Firstly, we need to find the third party web part. We can find it in the SharePoint store. For example, I search a stock web part. Then adding it to the current site. In my site, I have added it before. Secondly, back to the site page list, we need to create a new page in the UX. For example, I set the page title is sample and the third part by part. Then add the web part from the page. In the search box, we can search for stock cell third part web part. That has been added just now. Then we need to publish the page. Thirdly, using our Pages API to get the page payload and to create a new page, we can use the list API to get all list in the site. Then we can find the page ID and then we create just now. Copy the page ID and use the get page details API. Please note that if we want to get the web parts information, we need to and the expand parameter for this API. Okay, we get the page payload. Copy this to use the, the create pages API to create a new page. In order to set the request successfully, we need to delete the all data information and add the all data type for the payload.
Okay, everything is great. Finally, we just need to send the post request. It will return the 201 grid. Then we come back to the SharePoint UX. We can see the page has been created. And we can open it. It contains the third part stock web part. Yeah, basically that's how we support the first and third party web parts. So let's let me hand over to DC again. Yeah, let's take uh, Shreya. You want to take over and do the upcoming demo. So whatever you've seen so far is the V1.0. What's recently gra uh, GA experiences, and Shreya is going to come over and talk about what's coming to the beta API soon. We're going to be announcing it shortly. This is the first live demo. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Let me share my screen. Right, let me know when you can see my screen. We got it. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to demo the news link and video news link uh, API that we have with the, uh, just a basic client code um, in Node. So uh, just to give you a sense of what we have before, uh, making any changes. These are all the news uh, parts that we have. These are the pages. And uh, this is the code, which is uh, the implementation is in Node.js. It's a very basic uh, sample of what we can do. I'm going to demo a few things quickly. Uh, Uh, so first, let's start with like listing all the news link pages that we have. So here you go. These are the pages that we have. And then um, I have here an Excel sheet uh, in which there are like three news link pages that I want to um, publish and I've customized my own title and I have my own images that I want to upload, which are here locally. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, the share screen stuff is. All right. In the interest of time, I'm just going to uh, show you the create and publish uh, at the same time, which is basically it calls a create and then it calls a publish. Here we go. So here we have our three pages and we refresh. We see them in our news feed now. Um, sim similarly, you can do the same for video news links. I just had another sheet in my Excel. Done. And there you go. You have uh, the other.
so you have the video news links as well. Um, you can I'm showing you like basic implementations. You can definitely uh, right here. It's this is a, a form data request, so you will be uploading uh, an image along with um, just sending in the data for um, for the for the other fields of the news link. Uh, and uh, you can split it up. You can just create it. You can publish the drafts later and do all sorts of fun things. You can update uh, the content at any point of time. So yeah, that's. Thank you so much, Raya. So the scenario here is where you take public internet facing articles that you want to post as internal SharePoint news. You could have like an automation job that looks at a list of items, call the API, programmatically create the news link, upload an image, all within the same API. So that's the scenario that's coming to beta API very soon. Mm -hmm.